Here I am at Miss Monica's place. Let's take a look inside. One of the first things that I noticed when I entered was shelves of hair and self-care products. These are all items that Miss Monica and her team produce for her clients. We use turmeric oil. I also mix turmeric oil with other different oils so I can get more out of it. I don't use it by itself. This is a special made oil mm -hmm. that I brought that I know that is good. It have ginger in there. You know, ginger is good for, for stimulation. So I use that. So that, I also have rosemary oil. Mm -hmm. And I also mix with other oils that help for stimulate growth. Oh, these are the dried herbs that are in there? Yes, and the dried there. herbs are in there. And also, this is tea tree oil. And I also mix it because these are the herbs that is in there. Mm -hmm. And I also mix them with different oils for hair growth. So these are some of the hair growth oils that we use with combination that can help to grow by the hair. Okay. That's what I do. When I do all those manipulations, I also, these are the oils I combine some of them with mm -hmm. other oils to make the hair grow. And up here is the Moringa soap oh, yeah, that you showed us soap. Oh yeah. yes, this is the Moringa soap that can use for eczema. It's good, and you know if your scalp is dry, this is a like a shampoo soap. It goes for your skin also. So I use it for shampooing the hair to so make it the scalp feel moist. And then I also have a conditioner that goes with it. And also, that is also a good product that you use on the scalp. So okay. that is how after we do all it, before we do all the treatments and stuff like that, we wash the hair with these, uh, these soaps. This is mango oil. This is- How does that help the is, hair grow? And this, this mango oil is also massage into the scalp area. You can also use it on your skin. It's not only for your hair, it's also for your skin. Because your scalp is a part of your skin. You use that. And this, these are all that I have specially made for this purpose. And this one is the lemongrass oil. Mm -hmm. And they come in bulk like that. And then I also help the clients, send the clients to take home products. So I give them take home products mm -hmm. that they can use while I'm not around on their scalp and do their little thing at home okay. that they make sure they, their scalp keep fresh and keep moist. Show them the, the small sample, the samples they showed me, you gave to me. Um, this is a lemongrass butter. So what I actually do is I take out some of it mm -hmm. and I massage it on the scalp or you use it on your skin. And I also retail it to the clients, but it's all here that they can see exactly the good product that is used on the hair. So it's, it's also um, lemongrass with shea butter with different essential oils. So all these are natural processes made for the skin and also this the hair. Ooh, you, you what's see? that? That's the leave-in conditioner that they can use on the hair to prevent the hair from getting what's dry. What's the ingredients? These are different. Um, this is this also have the meringue in there, mm -hmm. and also different um different different mixture of oils and butters to make it. See, you see how soft it is. Yes. That's the kind of butter we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And you rub it on the hair, and it keeps the hair moist that you won't get dry because the hair br get brittle when it's dry yes. so you have to put um, butters on your scalp on your hair to prevent the um the dryness of the hair now this device blew my mind unfortunately i can't remember the name of it but it is connected to the phone and app appears and with the use of the app and device the device is then placed upon the scalp and different diagnoses are made, which includes dryness of the hair, any scalp abrasions, etc. So in this video, my scalp <laughs> is the guinea pig and we're showing you what is going on in my scalp. You see what's going on in your scalp? Wow. I'll be able to see beneath your scalp. Look at my scalp. Right? Amazing. Yeah, see? My eyes gonna see there unless I use my scope. Look at, this look at my scalp. Right, let's see. <laughs> look at right? my scalp. So I know you have thinning right here because hair is thinner than hair. You see, this is how your hair is supposed to be. Okay. See, you're having a thinning spot right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can see between your scalp, see? You're, yeah. thinning, you're thinning right here. Oh, wow. Right, see? You're thinning right there. That's close to my face, though. You know? That's close to your hairline. That's yeah. your hairline. That's okay. your hairline, right? This is your hairline. Uh -huh. Right? Let me go to the back. Okay, then. I'll leave at the back. See, you have a little thin spot right in the back here. We'll look up and show you how much your hair is supposed to be. Your hair is supposed to be like that. You see? Oh, yeah. It's supposed to have more hair. But if I go there, you'll see the difference of the spots that yeah. you have. You see? So I can search and find 
and I'll be able, and if you also have an abrasion on the scalp, mm -hmm. I can see it from the, from the follicle of the hair. At that moment, I asked her to put a device at the crown of my head because in that location, my hair is the shortest. No, no right, so you see, you have thickness of hair, but what is happening to you while the hair is short because it's getting dry and brittle? You see, you need more moisture in your hair to prevent that dryness. That's why the middle is so short. You don't have a problem up here, you know? Look at that. Mm -hmm. No, you don't, you don't. Your hair is full. I don't see no problem going on there. Let me see. No, 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 no. So, so, so you, just, just, you just need to work on the um, dryness of your hair. I'm going to give the crown of my head some TLC hair growth. Here we come. This is the equipment that I use to sterilize all the things that I use. Mm -hmm. And this is the first thing that I have here. This is the roller derm. And what the roller derm actually do is when I use it on the scalp, it open the follicles that when I use the products, the products can get to go in. Because sometimes the follicles are clogged mm -hmm. and I have to be able to open it for the products. Because if, if I don't open the follicles, sometimes the products you put in there just run off, it doesn't get to go in. Yeah. So I use this as one of the equipment I use to open it. This also is another tool that I'll, I'll also use to, to, um, to open it a little further down. So this will go a little further down than that one. So when I open, products can get to go into the water. So it's a small needle? This is a small needle and that's what it does. This is what it actually does. If there are small needles in there and I use them to open up the follicles more, right? Mm -hmm. This is a massage tool and a massage tool helps to massage the scalp. And it gives you the sound. Ooh. You see? See? Ooh, a, yes. Yeah, massage the scalp. So when I finish doing all of that, I massage the scalp to make sure all the products are in there. But everything well, goes down to the go down to the bottom. For some reason when you said massage, when you know earlier video when you said about massage, I was touching my with the hands, you know. When I, I do know. my hands oh, after, okay. after I do all of that, yes. the last thing I do is my hand massage. Okay. And then. the hand massage now makes sure all the blood the bloods are circulating properly mm -hmm. all over the scalp. So I do all that work. And then I do the hand massage. The hand massage is what I do last mm -hmm. to make sure that I, I, I take time and slow down, slow down the whole process. And then you, you feel totally relaxed. So at the end of the day, you get a relaxed feeling of massage. So you're not even thinking it's a treatment. You think it's more like a relaxation. Okay, you know? yeah, So that's what I actually do. I do some of these things. I use different natural oils that combine with mm -hmm. the treatment that I do. And I'm getting excellent results from that because most times, the hair need blood flow. Mm -hmm. So everything that I do is to make blood goes towards the scalp or the follicles that the hair will start growing. It's like a food. Mm -hmm. So I, I use the oils of, as food. I use my hand as like a tool and all the other instruments to help to help the hair to grow. So okay. that's what I actually do with my growth creep thing. And I get an excellent result. This so, is a steamer. This is an old time treatment. A lot of people don't use them anymore, but this is an old time treatment. And it actually do um, open up the hair. It open up the follicles, open up the hair. That the hair will also get the steam from it. It's a water steam, and it actually steam the scalp and help the, the follicles also to open. So everything we do mm -hmm. is help to open up the follicles that the hair can. The follicles can get all the nutrients from the products that we use to help it to grow. It's like you're feeling the follicles like food. It's like a, you're like you have a plant and mm -hmm. you're, you're digging up the roots of the plant and you put all the fertilizer there and the fertilizer now will enhance the growth and that's what I do. Most of the things I do is that too. Alright, awesome. Thank you guys for coming on this little tour with me. I really enjoyed my time at Miss Monica's. It was fun, 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 fun. And I left with some goodies. Yeah, I got some hair products and I'm forever grateful. Thank you so much, Miss Monica. Yay!